Hi there! Let's talk about balanced and unbalanced forces, and seesaws. First, let's start with forces. A force, is something that can push, or pull, an object. For example, when you kick a soccer ball, you are applying a force to it. Now, let's talk about balanced forces. Balanced forces, are when two forces are equal in size, and opposite in direction. This means that the forces cancel each other out, and the object doesn't move. It's like when you and your friend are pushing a box from opposite sides, with the same amount of strength, and the box doesn't move. That's balanced forces. On the other hand, unbalanced forces, are when one force is stronger than the other force. This means that the forces don't cancel each other out, and the object moves. It's like when you and your friend are pushing a box, but your friend is stronger than you, and the box moves in their direction. That's unbalanced forces. When an object is moving, its speed and direction can change depending on the forces acting on it. For example, if you kick a soccer ball with a lot of force, it will move faster than if you kick it lightly. And if you kick it in a different direction, it will move in that direction. Now, let's talk about seesaws. A seesaw, is a long board that can pivot on a fulcrum, like a big rock, or a metal stand. To make a seesaw balance, you need to have objects of different masses on either side of the fulcrum. For example, if you have a heavy object on one side and a lighter object on the other side, the seesaw will tilt towards the heavy object. This, is because the heavy object has more mass, and more gravity, which pulls it down. But if you move the heavy object closer to the fulcrum, and the lighter object farther away, the seesaw will balance out. This is because the heavier object has less leverage, when it's closer to the fulcrum, so it doesn't have as much pulling power. And the lighter object, has more leverage when it's farther away from the fulcrum, so it can balance out the heavier object. So, that's how balanced and unbalanced forces work, and how seesaws can be balanced, using objects of different masses and positions. I hope you had fun learning about it.